Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Cinematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to discussing about DALI model to create the image using Microsoft Cinematic Kernel. Let's start how to implement this feature. The first step, in Azure portal, I have created the new resource based on the location here, Sweden Central. Once the resource has been created, you have to go to Azure OpenAI Studio and you have to create the new deployment. You have to go to deployment and use this option create new deployment. First you have to select the model. As I mentioned, I'm going to create the image using this DALI E3 model. So I have selected this model. The next you have to provide the deployment name. I have already created one new deployment. My deployment name is bot DALI -E and the model name DALI E3. The deployment has been ready. The next step, using Cinematic Kernel SDK, we connect this deployment and we are going to create the image. For that, I'm going to use our one of the sample, weather plugin sample. So the long back, I created how to use Cinematic Kernel in bot framework. There, I, if user send the information, city information, based on the city, we generate the temperature and along with, we added the history information. Now, I added one more information, display the image. For example, based on the city, I find the landmark. So this finding the landmark, I connected to the Azure OpenAI to get the landmark. For example, if Chennai landmark is Marina Beach, the next step, we pass this Marina Beach information to this DALI to generate the image. Let's move on to Visual Studio to write the code. Before writing this code, I just want to highlight this weather sample has been created long back. Now, I changed a lot of code to adapt to this latest semantic kernel version. There is no other changes, only the API has been changed and the re concept remains same. It's worked like previous example only. So let's start implement uh, this image creation feature in semantic kernel. The first step, I have to connect to the deployment, image deployment. So here I'm going to add Azure Open AI text to image. So if you want to connect Delhi model, you have to use this API text to image. We have to pass all the required parameter. So deployment name, endpoint, API key we have to pass. All are defined in my config file. So config image model ID and endpoint config dot image endpoint and API key, config.image API key. So added our connection. Once you added this API, there is a warning message because at the moment image related API is in the previous state only. So in future, they may be keep the same API name or maybe they rename it. We, hope, we don't have any idea at the moment, but still we can use it. First step, you have to disable this warning, otherwise, it will throw an exception only. So first step, I'm going to disable this warning. To disable the, this warning, you, you can use two way. One way you can directly add into the CS project to disable this warning or in the code base, you can add it. I always prefer use this code base. So I go with this approach only. So I have to disable this warning. So here I add warning disable. So we have to see the code name SK EXP0012. So XK EXP0012. Once the warning has been disabled, after this function call, we have to restore it. Restore this warning. That's it. So this API is ready. Next up, we have to pass the city information to generate the image. For that, I go to this helper class function. I'm going to write one new function, private async return type at the moment task, function name generate image. The argument is a city name we have to pass it. So city name. We add a try catch. The first step, we have to connect Azure OpenAI to find the landmark information. For that, I have to create one prompt. 
so here create landmark prompt so where prompt landmark of the city so we have to define the input So our prompt string is ready. We have to create prompt template. So where prompt template kernel builder dot create function from prompt. We have to pass the prompt string prompt. The next step we have to pass the settings. So the settings I have to use here open AI prompt execution settings open a, a prompt execution settings new off so I define only one settings here or maybe two one is max tokens just keep less only 20 and the temperature one so settings ready here we have to pass the settings so our kernel prompt template is ready next we have to connect to Azure OpenAI to find the landmark so here connect to Azure OpenAI to find landmark information So we have to use the invoke async function, first parameter prompt template. So the kernel function I passed here. The next arg argument is a kernel argument. So the input we have to pass, the city name I passed to this function. Here we get the result. So where landmark information landmark information equal to landmark We can use get value string function. Okay. So our landmark information is ready. So once this information is ready, we have to pass this information to the image API to generate the image. So here, go to create image prompt. To create the image, we cannot directly use the kernel object. Instead of that, we have to use the image service so here I'm going to create the image service so where text to image service here kernel builder dot get required service the interface I text to image service this service we have to use You can see this warning pop up as I mentioned earlier. This image related is still in the preview mode, so we have to disable this warning also. This is 002 image service. So, where image URL image service dot generate image async. This function we have to call. So, here I add the await condition await the first parameter description so the description is a landmark information the next parameter width and height of the image so I keep 1024 the last argument is a kernel argument is an optional argument but still I pass this one kernel builder that's it So this API generate the image. So once the image has been ready, we have to return the image URL. So we have to change the return type. What I do, I am going to return image landmark information also. So image URL plus landmark information. So the task here I change as a return type tuple. So string landmark 
information info keep like this the next argument is a image url i have to do one more changes so this should be like this like this okay so here we have to return here return null return null and uh, here after this we return so return landmark information and image url so i change to this null sorry question mark yeah our generate image function is ready go to main code this one so process information here we get the weather result to pass the city information after getting the weather result we have to call this image function to generate the image so here where image information equal to a weight generate image we have to pass the city name not the prompt city name we have to pass that's it and this inf image information we have to send to bot also so here i add other information so image image url is equal to image information dot image url and uh, description so we have to pass landmark information so image i keep uh, like this image name go to image information dot landmark information that's it we run this application and see the result i put the breakpoint here image information and one more breakpoint here things not needed i keep here so start the application so this function get called pass the city information chennai so first we have to connect azure open ai to find the landmark information about chennai so here we the function get invoked the landmark marina beach the next we use this text to image service to generate the image so now image get generating it's look like little bit slow because of maybe i provide the width and height is 1024 that's the reason i think it's little bit take some time so here our image and image information is ready continue so this is not needed remove the break points here also not needed go to the emulator we see this information marina beach this is a landmark of the chennai and uh, maybe we can try different city also I restart the conversation this time i interested in tanjavur here we get a tanjavur landmark image this is a temple image prakriteswara temple is displaying maybe we try some uh, different country cities this time i try to find uh, vienna here we get a uh, vienna landmark i hope you can understand how to use dali image generation using microsoft semantic kernel thanks to all